Council of Jackson, Mississippi, authorizing the retention of consultants for professional investigative services pursuant to Section 2-29 of the Code of Ordinances of the City of Jackson, Mississippi, to assist with the investigation into the findings of Raptellus Financial Consultants, Inc. Item number 31 has been moved and properly seconded. Any questions or comments? Councilman Foote, this is your item. Just to provide some, some background context, the, um, if you go back to, to, um, to the credit of the mayor and his head of public works, they, um, back in uh, about last summer, they brought to uh, the city council the recommendation to hire Raftellis, an outfit out of North Carolina, to audit the water and sewer system, particularly the billing department. They performed that audit, they produced the audit, and they briefed us in the report the City Council in um, early March of, of this year, and um, to the credit of the Keither Stamps and the rest of the City Council, the City Council um, immediately voted that same night to launch an investigation um, of concerning some of the shortcomings that the Raftellus had found regarding the water sewer billing department and collections and, and shortfalls and, and funding. The, um, we launched the investigation. Uh, we brought in two professional investigators, the uh, Mr. Hines and Mr. Hull. They uh, started the investigation in May. We were funded with $25,000 and given till the end of July. Uh, it, it didn't go as rapidly as we'd like to have gone, but to, to, they came up with some some good insight on the challenges we face. And um, but they haven't been able to do all the interviews and all the. Um, and, and do the final report. And so I think it's really imperative um, that um, we finalize the report. They have um, informed me that it would take uh, approximately $15,000 and another 60 days for them to finish interviews and finalize the report uh, so that we could have a, a final report. And I think it um, would, uh, goes a long ways towards making a statement that um, we're going to get to the bottom of the the challenges we face and um, provide some sunlight and transparency to the city of Jackson's operations. I recommend my fellow council people. Uh, vote in the affirmative to extend the extension. Now, one other point I would make is that. In talking with um, uh, Ms. Jones, Roberta Jones, she said that we could fund this from, um, her understanding, we could fund this from the water and sewer enterprise funds. In fact, we could probably go back and take the $25,000 and transfer it into the general fund from the water and sewer uh, um, enterprise funding um, pool. I think we, we, we found money within the clerk's budget okay. to do this, so let, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Um, but if we have to, we'll have to. Um, any further discussion on this item? Question. Councilman Stokes. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, Mr. President, I, I didn't get a chance to hear his complete report, but it was a, a good report, I think, in terms of he dissected the uh, Ralph Teller's report. And some of the things I remember is that it seemed that Ralph Teller was, was accusing um, uh, the water people of things and they played games with language and put things like could. Now, when you were telling us all this, you made us think that this was going on. So when this gentleman called them, then they said something like, well, we said could. You know, that, that's, that's trickery. You know, in the neighborhood, they call it trickeration. So, you know, I thank them for getting to the bottom of some of this. Because a lot of this we didn't think was going on that was in Ralph Tellers, but they got a little more contract. But the key thing that I'm concerned about is Siemens. Now, I'm not going to vote for this if we just going to look at people in the water department who don't make that much money and most times they're getting lied upon. If this thing going to go toward what happened with Siemens, 
than I consider voting on it. Now, you said what happened? Because we don't know. We hear a lot of rumors. We hear a lot of people got a lot of money. But one thing we know, poor people can't pay these high water bills. Now, we know that. Now, if it was a trick in here, then I hope he'll find it. But, you know, my concern is that we don't punish little old bitty people uh, down at the, at the, at the uh, meter level who read meter, may not read the meter right. Uh, I, did, I do believe that we need to have rats tell us for some of this money back especially if this gentleman said he talked to him and he said, well, look, y'all put on here and they said, well, we didn't mean it like that. You know, you can't do that kind of stuff in government when you inflame uh, elected officials that think that something's going on illegally and then they're trying to bring people to see is it true or false and then they start saying, well, we didn't mean it like that. that that's, that's not good. But I was impressed with their research and I was impressed with them going that extra mile and talking to them instead of call them on the phone and, and acting like I'm not going to ask you these hard questions. Thank you, Mr. President. All right, Councilor Baritzman. Thank you. I agree with you completely, Mr. Stokes, and I think it's uh, absolutely uh, imperative that we follow up on what is out there right now, and I think it would be terribly irresponsible uh, with the allegations that we have heard uh, that we not follow up on this and get to the bottom of it. Um, I, like you, am concerned about people who can't pay their water bills. And as you know, in this ward that I represent, uh, I've got a huge number of widows living alone on fixed incomes that are devastated by these water um, water bills. And uh, I just think it is it's our responsibility to get to the bottom of it, make sure that those people who are willing to pay, that have paid, can pay, and those that have, have abused the system, uh, that we will uncover that. And, um, and I think we've got proof that a lot of that has gone on, not, not necessarily from city workers, but people who have absolutely abused the water uh, system and, um, in the past. And unless we come to grips with this, uh, they will continue to do that. And the people that are suffering uh, because of that are people just like I mentioned. It's the, it's the widows. It's the people on fixed incomes. They simply cannot pay these water bills. And if we can get to the culprits who are causing some people to pay and others to have no payment at all, then all the power to us. And I just hope that this council will approve this. Councilman Stamps. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, I'll only support this measure is if somebody go to jail <laughs> well, or somebody be held accountable um, for impropriety um, to study a study is one thing but people need to be held accountable if there was something done wrong so um, I'm not saying that we have the power to fully investigate this I think we need to encapsulate what we have at some point and give it off to the professionals so we can get back to work there's some other areas I want to investigate. I think I'm actually thinking about asking for some money in the budget for next year to investigate other city departments. I think we should, we should probably move to having the Office of Inspector General. When we got folks on staff all day, and their job is to, to, to make the system accountable to itself and to the residents who pay the bill um, so that we don't have to you know, have an investigation. We got folks already on staff. Go investigate this, that, and this other and get back to me in a month. And, you know, so that's what I think we should move to as a, as a body of government. But I only support this measure if, if at the end of the day, some people are being held accountable for doing things wrong. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let's have a vote on this. I ask Council A. Barrett, Simone has to leave, and I know she wants to vote on this. All those in favor? Opposed? <laughs> Item carries 6-1. Thank you, colleagues.